Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I will be showing you guys how to complete the finale in the Diamond Casino Heist for the Big Con approach. And you guys might have seen my recent long video in which I posted the entire heist from start to finish. I will be showing you guys how to complete the Big Con without getting caught, without having to fire one bullet, without having to really fight any enemies. This is not for the stealth approach, it's another completely different approach. This is the Big Con one. I will show you how to get through the whole finale without having to break the skies it's going to require a lot of coordination between your teammates but this guide will show you exactly what me and my friends did completing it without breaking the skies will get you an extra one hundred fifty thousand dollars and also at any point if you mess up and you trigger the alarm you can also let them kill you and it'll actually restart at a checkpoint before and you can try doing stealth again if you mess up at any point during this but i'm going to show you guys what to do and also i have completed all the setup missions all the extra prep things, so I got pretty much everything that I needed. Everything that is optional, I have gotten. The clean vehicle here, I don't think you really need that. We didn't use that. The gunman decoy, that did help a little bit, but it's up to you. Make sure you put your buyers as high level so you get more money. Now, for the entrance, you can't pick that. Make sure you choose the entry disguise as Bugsters. Use Bugsters. The reason I recommend Bugsters is because with Bugsters, you can just walk through the front lobby. You can go towards Miss Baker's office and not really have to worry about the guards you can just walk right past them as for the exit disguise we are going to be using the noose outfits and also we are going to be using the rear exit for the exit do not put the helipad ones use either the waste disposal or the staff exit either one is fine i personally recommend the staff exit but i chose waste disposal but it kind of spawned me not at the waste disposal but at the staff lobby but anyways choose one of the rear doors just do not choose the helipad do not choose those i don't recommend that so anyways let's start off this heist remember what i said bugsters noose and high level and also rear exit let's start this off now I also wanted to comment, if you choose to do the Group A um, entrance disguise, if you choose to do that one, you don't have to worry about the first set of enemies as you will be taken right to the vault. However, though, you will have to deal with the second set of enemies in the vault. This guide will be showing you the Bugster's approach. It will show you how to deal with both sets of enemies. It's actually not that, not that complicated to deal with the first set of enemies. But anyways, let's get started with this guide. One other thing that I wanted to comment before we get inside the casino is I personally recommend you do this with a team of four. You don't have to do it with a team of four, but it's actually much easier with a team of four because then when you're actually in the vault, you're not going to have enough time to get all the stuff, even if you have a good hacker delaying the alarm. So right here, we're going into the lobby. We're going into the casino for the rear entrance right here dressed as Bugster because we did that infestation earlier where we brought the garbage bags here. We're going in here. Now, do not get too close to the guards. Do not bump into the guards either. One of my friends accidentally bumped into the guards and actually causes them to shoot. Just walk right past the guards. I would avoid sprinting. Do not really run like crazy. Just walk right past them and just walk right towards Miss Baker's office. It's as simple as that. That's why I like Bugsters for this approach because you can just walk past pretty much all the guards in this area. You don't have to deal with them. Now, as for the keypad right here, for me, it was a fingerprint scanner, and I believe it's pretty much always a fingerprint scanner here. But just have one of your friends who's good at hacking. Just whoever is the best on your team, whoever knows these games pretty well, have them hack. Now, I was kind of okay at the fingerprint thing. One of my friends, he was much better than me, though, and I let him do it, and he got in pretty quickly, and we got in through that. Now, once you get in through that, you will actually be put in this room right here. And on this room, I have actually created a kind of a map right here to show you guys exactly where to go. Now, you don't have to kill everybody in this room. You can just pistol whip them. That's how you knock them out. This first guy that's right here in the entrance, you have to pistol whip him. And if we take a look at my map, I'm sorry about my paint skills, you know, I'm not the greatest with paint. I, I tried my best here, but I, I have basically tried to map out a route for you guys. This is the route that me and my friends took. So from this map, you guys can see, I go towards the middle table. I wait until the camera switches to a cone of vision that is not looking at me. I go towards that middle table. I also wait till the two guys, the one guy in the black shirt and the one guy in the white shirt, I wait until they go into the longer room. When they're in the longer room, they're in there for like around 30 seconds, but it gives you plenty of time to do what you're going to do. And what you want to do is this guy that's right here in the middle between like this black table constantly walking back and forth. You want to get rid of him. You're not really going to be able to sneak past him because he's just so aggressive. He's just constantly going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. 
Wait until he's at this angle right here. You guys see what I'm doing. Wait until he is right here at this angle. When he is at this angle, knock him out. Go with the, use the pistol, pistol whip him from behind, knock him out. Now the two guys, when they come back in the room, the guy with the white shirt and the black shirt, they should not see him. I did this, they didn't see him down there. So knock him out, and then right after that, run to this corner right here where this security room is. Take cover behind the wall right here, look at the door, wait until the guy walks up to the door here. When he starts walking back, go into the room and pistol whip him from behind, knock him out. These are the only two guys that you have to get rid of in this section. Do not get rid of anyone else. When you get rid of that guy, tell the rest of your team when to move up, when you've cleared a path. I recommend doing this one person at a time because if everybody follows you, they get right behind that table, they crouch there, somebody could bump into somebody else, somebody could stand up, somebody could get spotted. So I personally recommend going one at a time, have one guy like me go through, knock out that guy in the middle there, knock out the guy in the security room. Tell your teammates then when to move up, communicate with them. And I told my teammates when to move up exactly, you can see the map right here. They took a similar route to me, and I told them when that guy was coming back, I was watching those two guys, the guy in the black shirt and the white shirt on my map. I was also watching the camera cone of vision, and I would tell each of my teammates when to move. Like right here, I told my teammate to move, take cover there, and then move towards the room right here. You can see last teammate right here is waiting. Now in this section right here, you see the two guys are going in the room right now. You see the guy with the black shirt and the white shirt. They're going in the room. My last teammate is right there. They're taking cover. Now I wait until those two guys leave the room. Once those two guys are leave, going to leave the room, I tell my teammate when to move. I don't tell them to look at the map because I don't want them distracted with that. I just want them focused on getting to the area. I tell them it's clear. They're moving back. The camera is changing its cone of vision. You can see he's running right around the side of the camera when the camera changes the cone of vision. Gets right in here. We're all in here. Bingo. Got it. We snuck through the first area. Now all we got to do is we go up to the keypads. Both of us hit it at once. We got in, we're going towards the vault now. And once you're in here, you will run through here and there will actually be the money right here. Now split up, make sure that you plan it out. Tell everybody exactly what letter you're going for. Say, I'm going for this letter, this person goes for this letter. Plan the whole thing out because you have a limited time in here. Even if you have a good hacker that delays the alarm, you still have a limited time in here. And with two people, you're not gonna be able to really have enough time to get all the loot. We as four people, we barely got out with all the loot. We got all the loot, but we barely got out. This is why I recommend having a team of four. So this part, just basically get all the loot. There will be a few hacking mini games. Try your best at them. Have the person that is the best. Do those hacking mini games, but just get out with the money and then leave. Now, here's, here's the next part. This part is going to be pretty challenging coming up. Now, right after you leave the vault and you go down this long hallway that you originally went in the in the vault, you will notice there is more guards. And those two guards that you knocked out, for some reason, they will despawn and there will be new guards. And the new guards will be moving around here. Now, I have created another map. This is my second map here. And this will show you exactly where to go and the X that represents who you have to knock out. So that represents the people that you have to get rid of. Now, there is this one guy that's really annoying in this part. And this one guy just keeps constantly walking back and forth. He will walk into the room and then he will go around the table, and then he'll go back into that long room. That guy you really have to worry about. So what you're going to want to do is wait until this camera, you see right here, right past, the, right past the vault exit, wait until that camera is at an angle. When that camera is at an angle, move, hug the wall, go around it, and then keep going, and then go into that back room on the map. You can see what I'm doing right now. You see what I'm doing? We all go around, we hug the wall, and then we go inside this room right here. We stay inside this room. And now what I'm waiting for is I'm waiting for that guy to circle around. That guy is going to circle around. Now, this guy that's standing still here, you want to knock him out. Because even if you don't go in his cone of vision, if you try to sneak past him on the right side for some stupid reason, he just always spots you. So this guy, you want to knock him out. You want to get rid of him. Now, when to knock him out, wait until this guy is pretty much in the room. Wait until he is in the room. Wait until he walks past you. When he walks past you, then at that point, knock the guy out when he starts going back in the room. When the guy starts going back into that long, 
room, that long room like I'm doing right here, that's when you want to knock the guy out. Knock the guy out, then right after that, sneak around on the right side. It's going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze here because there's a lot of cameras here, cone of vision. So one person at a time, go around here really quick. And then what you're going to want to do is the next person is going to want to be really fast because that guy is going to eventually turn around and he's going to come back the other way and he's going to spot you. So the best time to pistol whip him is when he's right at the edge of the room. You can come up right behind him, knock him out from behind. You get him right there. You're good on that. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to the staircase and we're going to want to use the key cards. So right here, we use the key cards. We're going into the staircase. We're on the staircase right here. We're going up. And you want to watch out for this camera right here. This camera messed us up almost. It almost messed us up. So just be very careful in its cone of vision. Slowly move up the staircase. Be very careful on that camera's cone of vision. Okay, now once you get up here, it'll look like you're detected, but you're not. They are just suspicious. They know the vault's been hit. They don't know exactly where you are. Once you get on this floor, once you get out of that room leading up to the staircase, make a left and turn towards here, turn towards this hallway right here. Now, there is going to be two guys patrolling down this hallway. You only need to knock out the guy that keeps com keeps coming into this room. This section right here near the door, right when you leave the staircase, is where you want to preferably knock the guy out. My friend, he knocked the guy out in the hallway right here, and the, guy did, the other guy that walks down the hallway for some reason did not see the body. So what you want to do at this point is take cover right here, wait till that guy goes all the way down the hall, wait till he's all the way down the hall. Remember what I said, knock out this earlier guy then get in here and just change your disguises and change the noose disguise once you are wearing the noose disguise all you pretty much got to do is just walk out just walk out don't bump into any of the enemies i don't recommend sprinting just walk out casually try to get there kind of fast but don't be rushing at the same time uh, don't be really stressed about it that's how me and my friends did it the first time now the game, at least on my screen, tells me to exit the casino via the main entrance. Do not go out the main entrance. When you go in this room right here, go right towards the metal detectors. Make a right right here, go towards metal detectors the same exact way you came in. You do not have to exit through the main entrance. Do not exit through the main entrance because that is where the bulk of the noose are going to be. Exit through the staff door right here. The same staff door that you came in, that is the place that you want to exit through. Exit through there. Once you are outside the casino, Basically what you do is climb up on this and then climb over this wall. Go right on the track and this part can get really annoying because even though you are dressed up as noose, if you get too close to them, oftentimes you will get spotted. So basically climb over that and make sure you crouch walk here, basically kind of like in sneak mode. Because if you actually sprint here, the enemies will actually hear you on the other side of the bush. So it's basically crouch walk all the way around here. Kind of when you're like in the middle area, when it's going into the next turn, that's when you can start sprinting. So like right here when me and my friends started sprinting. And what we're going to do right now is we are actually going to climb this wall. And you can do one of two things. You can go to the left and go all the way around and try to get to the getaway cars. But you are going to encounter a lot of police along that way. So I personally don't recommend doing that. What me and my friends instead do is we climb over this wall and we actually go right towards the sewer tunnel. That same sewer tunnel that you use in the jewelry store heist, that's the direction that we actually run in. And we go there because we don't really have to worry about any cars here. Occasionally a helicopter might show up, so make sure that when you climb over this wall you're really, really fast because sometimes helicopters can spawn. When you're kind of in the sewer area, at this point, have one person try to find a civilian car on the street. Any kind of car that can fit how many people you have in your heist. Like here, you know, I suggest doing this with four people just so you can clean out the vault easier. But have somebody try to find some kind of car. And one of my friends, she found a car on the street and she brought it right down here. And right after she brought that car down here, we go right in the sewer tunnel. And when you go in the sewer tunnel, you're going to be driving around a little bit, trying to get out on the other side. But eventually, when you get out on the other side, you will lose the cops. You will not have to worry about the cops. And when you're outside, I don't recommend driving in the direction of the casino. Because the GPS rod is going to tell you to go that way if you're selling to the buyer all the way up in Polito Bay. Don't go around that area. I don't recommend it because there's still plenty of cops. I just don't want to risk it, even though we already lost the cops. So what we're going to do is we're now going to take the civilian car. We're going to ignore the getaway vehicles. We don't need the getaway vehicles. We're just going to take the civilian car and we're going to basically just drive all the way around. So we're going to drive on the left side through Chumash all the way up to Polito Bay and we just deliver it and we just get here and we have completed the challenge. 
And that was that for this video. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Um, let me know if you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns on this. Me and my friends took a lot of tries doing this. We were, you know, experimenting with different escape methods. And for us personally, this was the best way to escape, was to go all the way back around towards the sewer tunnel. There's not any cops there. Try to find a civilian car, take it through the sewer tunnel, lose the cops, lose the pursuers there, get out on the other side, and just drive to Polito Bay with a civilian car. That was our best trick personally, but let me know what you guys think down below and if you guys enjoyed this video and this guy drop a like and if you're new to my channel Enjoy my content subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care everyone